What's up everybody? All right, so today uh, my friend actually gave me a Parrot Bebop drone asking me if I could fix it for her. Her son took it and evidently crashed it straight into something. I don't know what. Um, had, a, had a good amount of damage on it. Um, so, got damage on the front. <laughs> damage all over this thing. And she gave it to me and it looks like her son actually tried a hot glue. A whole bunch of it together. You got hot glue on the sides, hot glue on the front, hot glue everywhere. That might make it actually tougher to take it apart. Um, why don't I just do like that? Okay. So at the top here in red it says motor error. And once you click motor error, what shows up? So top left here is red. And then if you scroll down, um, the motor uh, stage is broken. It's indicating. Uh, what I've done so far already, I just took uh, this guy, It's I think it's one, no, it's five sixty-fourth of an inch, right, Allen key. Unscrewed the screws on the top, right, so it kind of looked like this. Alright, so, the blade's on top. I only just loosen each of these screws, then you can twist the blade or the screw so that it gets to the, the circle knob on the, on the top and it should pop right out. Looking at it, the, the magnetic coils here look fine, um, so that makes me think it's probably going to be the wire. Um, the wire from what I can see looks fine. What I'd like to do is get inside the top of this guy because the wire just looks like they connect somewhere in there. All right, um, so we're going to try and get, see this wire looks good. We're going to try and get inside up here. <clears throat> So, uh, the toolkit I got here from Amazon, Simus screwdriver set, C-Y-M-A-S. It's a magnetic driver kit, it costs me 14 bucks. Um, if you want, you only need one thing out of it, right? It's, uh, I think they call it start tool. Uh, the one that works okay is the 1.5 millimeter. So using the tool I just bought. front comes right off. I don't know about this drone company. Uh, you got a little burnt chip up top here, so <laughs> think of it as you will. See them going in from the top here. I wonder if I can just pull this guy right out or not. I can. So that's funny. Uh, this came right out like that. Um, there's a zip tie, which is their method of holding in the wires over there. This guy came right out of there. We need some more tools. Extends nice and fancy like this, not too shabby. Got the complete motor stage out here. They hot glue the wires to the coils. All right, it looks fine. I don't know. I think a good test. Yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the motor stage between the front two and see if the error switches. Um, if it does, it's definitely this guy. If it's still there, it's something on board, and I'm probably not gonna be able to fix that myself. Okay, that one's in. Things turning on. All right. Oh, it actually looks like it's good now. I'm gonna hook them all up, and if we can make this guy fly, job is done. see the camera on the bebop drone now and from here on I'll just uh, videotape it this is its controller right um, there's a controller for the bebop drone you can buy separately um, 
but if you don't want to, you don't have to, you could use your iPhone, uh, an iPad, whatever you want to control it. So what I'm gonna do is just take off. This will be uh, to go up, down, rotate, left, right. This will be to go forward, uh, go left, go right, go backward. So those are your basic controls. You got the feet down here, uh, your, your speed here, uh, battery life right here. Uh, so a lot of, it, it's very user friendly, very basic. Um, I actually kind of like how, how simple it is. Let's take a look at how well the drone does a, a thing centered. I just, I just did all the repairs as the video should show. So you can see it's moving around a lot, but it is balancing itself out. Uh, might be hard for you guys to see. Let me bring you closer. So as you can see, it is moving around. I'm not pressing any buttons. Uh, this could be from all the damages that it had from before. So I'm now going to take it up into the air and try and get some video to show you the difference there. Two of the problems that I wanted to fix, these wires are just hanging off a little bit, making it hard for um, the drone to bounce itself up in the air. And two, the battery is not sticking on because two of the latches are broken. So, got some Scotch 3mm tape and a hot glue gun. Hey guys, um, so with the the uh, tape on the back of the battery so it stays on the drone, there is a problem when you're trying to charge it. Okay, so that creates a gap between the charger and the battery pack. Um, all I did was add some tape up here so that it stays on uh, when it's charging. The contacts are there, it is contacting, it is charging. There are several ways you can um, fix the battery issue um, if you break the, the latches that keep it on, so those are that's this guy right here and this guy they broke off so that the battery wasn't staying on. You can use, uh, oops, sorry. You can use zip ties, you can use, uh, you can tape it on the drone if you want. That's kind of more of a headache. You have to tear off the tape every time. I know you have to tear the tape off the battery charger but I'd rather it on the charger because if it falls off that, that's not as big of a deal if uh, your battery falls off the drone. If you have any other ideas for a better way to attach the battery to the drone if those latches break, um, I'm sure there's several other better methods out there. Go ahead and throw it in the comments for, for people to see. Um, this, this works for me. It's very secure for actually staying on the drone. Um, and again, it's not my drone. So I hope this helps them out. Um, and I hope it helps you out too. So if you have any other ideas, go ahead and throw it in the comments for other people to see.